About three years ago I came by Benninder's YouTube channel. It was right about then he started his 672 computer series. I always had a liking for old school computers thanks to the 8-bit guy and many others. So I was excited when he started to build his VGA graphics card. But eventually he stopped developing his card so I took it upon myself to continue his work. After two years of failed and somewhat successful attempts, I came up with a pretty good design. My graphics card can display a 40 by 32 text grid or a 320 by 256 bitmap pixel resolution with 16 colors. It has 32K of video RAM and only four registers to interface with. Another cool feature, I included the accent bits. They are three bits housed in the modifier register and control the upper eight color tint. So let's actually discuss on how to use this graphics card. It virtually takes up no memory space from the processor, only four registers. These are called X, Y, modifier, short M, and data or D. X, Y, and D are used to read and write to video RAM, and the modifier register is used to set the display mode, border color, and the color accent. The X and D registers are somewhat special. X, when written to it, resets the write mode and enters read mode, and D, when written to it, sets the write mode. Reading to D doesn't affect the read or write mode. So for example, to write a byte, you first have to write the X value to X, the Y value to Y, and then you can write the, the data to D. For reading it's almost the exact same step, but you read from D instead of writing. I recommend putting a few no-ups in between defining the coordinate and reading from D to give the card more time to fetch the instruction, especially for higher frequency CPUs. Now let's talk about the modifier register. You can select the display mode by setting the mode pin low for text mode and high for graphics mode. The border color is self-explanatory. The accent bits control the upper 8 color group. With that you can create much more colors than are normally offered in standard 16 colors. If you, for example, set the accent bits to green, you get an orange, or if you set it to red and green, you get a light brown and a darker orange. If you set all to zero, you get a standard 8 color mode. Here are all the colors you can get with this. The color accent applies to the whole screen and allows for more colorful art and games. The screen is addressed in a coordinate grid and is not continuous. You simply define your X and Y coordinates. A line is 128 bytes in size and houses the character and color information for that line. Character RAM starts at 0 and color RAM at 64 or hex 40. You address the color RAM by simply setting byte 6 high in the X register. In a line there are about 48 unused bytes. Multiplying by 256 gives us about 12k free memory to use. In text mode, the graphics card reads Y0 to Y31 and consumes 4K in total. For the graphics mode, the card reads Y0 to Y255 and uses the entire 32K. Now let's take a look at the current breadboard layout. Here at the upper right corner sits the sync circuitry and right beside it the border generation. Here at the top is the color production and here are the output registers which include shift registers and multiplexers. Here's the character ROM and video RAM, and here the memory counters and the vertical multiplexers used for mode switching. Down here are the registers and the instruction cycles. At the lower half of the board is the entire computer with its memory decodation and registers. This board currently has 32K of RAM and 16K of ROM. Also down here is the keyboard connector. Please note that this design is not finalized yet. I'm gonna take my time to minimalize it to the max and to the lowest chip count possible, while still staying true to the features I presented. Now let's see the computer in action. First of all, here's a nice self bolt keyboard, uh, which has all the keys and is using Cherry Max micro switches and a lot of wires. This was a pain to build because I built it on perfboard. It just connects to the VIA and doesn't use any microcontrollers for the reading. This black box here is just a power supply. So let's power on the board. This little program 
is just a simple typewriter as of yet. Uh, I am working on a full-fetched operating system, text-based, but first I want to finalize the hardware design and then convert it to a PCB for you guys and uh, to have a more stable build. This little program just shows us the colors that are currently displayed and our character set. We can choose our palette by using the A and D keys, which are arrow keys. I will la uh, later add arrow keys to the final keyboard. So let's decrement here, and you can already see the F change. Um, the border is currently black but you can set it to any of the 16 colors here. The accent also applies to the border, keep that in mind. On this channel I will cover multiple of my self-designed projects like this one. In the next video I will explain some of the inner workings of this graphics card and tips on how you can build your own. If you have any questions feel free to comment.